Okay, so we're now going to look at some real-life examples of mixed number expressions. So here's example one, here's example two. Okay, let's start with, it, with example one. It says, what is twice the sum of this and this, right? Twice the sum of this and this. Now the trick here is just to begin, forget about that part, just begin and get the sum of this and this, okay? The sum of that. Now, does sum mean add, subtract, or multiply, or divide? What does sum mean? To find the sum of that. Doesn't it mean add? Sum always means add. Okay. So I'm going to go 3 and 2 fifths, and I'm going to add 1 and 3 quarters. Okay. So, um, you know, I could just go ahead and add that and get the answer and then get twice that. Good night. So, if I get the sum and then get twice that, that'll work. But you're just for the purpose of education, I'm just going to say, look, the sum is after I've got the answer. Okay, I'm going to get that answer first, you see, put it in parentheses. Then I'm going to get twice that. What would twice that be? Multiply it by, multiply it by 2, right? So this now is is writing out twice the sum of these guys, right? But of course, like I said, you could have just added them up and multiplied by two at the end. But I'm just using parentheses just just for for the for the fun of it, right? Just so we get a little bit of practice. Okay, so now I have a multiplication and I have uh, an addition, but I have the addition in parentheses. So if you remember your PEMDAS order of operations, right? What comes first? What comes first? Isn't it parentheses first, right? Parentheses first. So I've got to add these guys to begin with. So um, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to put them as improper fractions, I guess. Um, yeah, you could. It, it, you could do it improper fractions, or you could just add them as uh, as uh, mixed numbers. It doesn't really matter. But uh, basically, let's see. Okay, three and one gives four. Okay, that was easy. Now we do the two fifths and the three quarters. Okay, so I'll just do that to the side. Two fifths um, plus three quarters, and make the bottoms the same, or find the lowest common denominator. So you got to go well. Well, fifths you've got you know five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 4's you got 4, 8, uh, 16, 20, right? Something like that. Oh, I forgot 12, 4, 8, 12, 16, whatever. Okay, but 20, right, they both go into 20. Or in other words, if you just times this guy by 4 and times this guy by 5, then the bottoms are the same, right? Anyway, so times this guy by 4 over 4 and this guy by 5 over 5. And, um... Uh, make it a little messier, am I? Okay, and I get eight twentieths plus uh, three times five, fifteen twentieths, which is um, twenty-three twentieths, and write that as a mixed number. Twenty and twenty-three goes one time remainder. Well, it's got to be remainder three, so one and three twentieths. Okay. So this thing, so when I did my 3 and my 1, I got 4. When I did my 2 fifths and my 3 quarters, I got 1 and 3 twentieths. So 4 plus 1 and 3 twentieths is, and of course that was in parentheses, wasn't it? That becomes 5 and 3 twentieths. Right? And of course, I've got to times that by two. So I guess one way to times it by two is to turn this into an improper improper fraction. Twenty times five, five twenties is one hundred. So that's one hundred and three over um, one hundred three over twenty, right? And we're timesing it by two. Can you write two as a fraction? 2 over 1. Yep. Now, can we cross cancel? 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 0 goes 0 times. So that gives me 101 times 103 is um, 103. 
over 1 times 10 is 10. 103 over 10 is the answer as a mixed number, or as an improper fraction. Now, can you turn that into a mixed number? 10 into 103 goes 10 times remainder 3. So 10 and 3 tenths, right? All right. Let's have a look at example 2. A shirt manufacturer usually buys three rolls of cloth, one and one of 16 and a third yards and the other of 35 and a half yards to fill her weekly orders. Okay? How much should she buy to fill four weeks of orders? Okay. She usually buys Oh, why did I say three there? I should say two. Sheesh. Can't count. That's not good. A shirt manufacturer usually buys two rolls of cloth. One roll of cloth is 16 and a third yards long and the other is 35 and a half yards long. Okay. So, um, so this is the amount she buys in a week is this and this, right? And then, so uh, by all means press pause and see if you can do it yourself, right? So I'll do it now, and the thing is we've got to get the total yardage in one week. The total yardage in a week is the 16 and one third roll plus the 35 and a half roll. That's the amount of yards she buys in one week, okay? Now we want to know how much she buys in four weeks. So we're going to add that together and then multiply by four, right? And just for the education of it, I'm just going to throw in the parentheses here and do that. Because I'm gonna, it's telling if when I do the parentheses, it says, "Look, you gotta add these guys first to get the weekly amount, and then multiply by four, right?" But you don't have to do that in your homework. You can just, you know, add these and then multiply by four afterwards. It'll be the same thing. Right? But I'm just gonna throw in parentheses just for the purpose of education, right? <laughs> so um, I could turn these into m improper fractions, but it'd be kind of a lot of work actually. Because um, hold on a second, just just take the 16 and add it to the 35. See what that gives us. Um, 16, 35, 6 and 5 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, and 3 is 5. So that's uh, 51, isn't it? So if I'm doing the parentheses first, I get 51, and then I've got to add the half and the third, or the third and the half. So go ahead and add a third and a half together. <coughs> so lowest common denominator, let's see. We've got uh, three goes three, six, nine. Twos go two, four, six. Okay, six is our common. Or in other words, just to make the bombs the same times that guy by two, now times that guy by three, and we, they both say three times two, right? Anyway, we need to turn it into sixths. So we've got two sixths plus three sixths, which is how many sixths? Five sixths. Okay. So I took the sixteen and the thirty-five, and I got fifty-one. I took the third and the half. I added them. I got five six. So this is fifty-one and five six, isn't it? And it's four times that guy, right? And I guess the thing we were doing with this is we multiply uh, these guys, we turn them into improper fractions. So write 4 as a fraction to begin with. 4 is 4 over 1. Now write this guy as a fraction. I'm going to start with 6 times 51. So 51 times 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And then I have to add 5. Plus 5. Uh, 6 and 5 is 11, carry the 1, 0 and 1 is 1, 3. So I get 3, 1, 1 over 6. Now, does something cross cancel? I'm multiplying fractions so I can cross cancel. 2 to 4 goes twice, 2 to 6 goes 3 times. Anything else? No, 3 and 3 goes once, but 3 doesn't go into 11, so we're we're done there. So 2 times 311 I've got to do, so you got to times that by 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So this gives me 2 times 311 is 622, over 1 times 3 is 3, okay? So I've got to do 3 into 622, 
3 into 6 goes twice, 3 into 2 goes 0 times, 3 into 22 goes um, um, uh, 7 times remainder 1, right? So as a mixed number I get 207 remainder 1, so 207 and 1 third. And what is the units on that? A shirt manufacturer usually buys two rolls. Lot one ro roll is uh, six and a thirteen, six and sixteen and a third yards. The other is thirty-five and a half yards. And then we added those. Then we multiplied it by four for the four weeks, and we got this. Now, what's the units on that? It's got to be yards, right? Y D for yards. 